everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and today I'm presenting you another spectacular ride. I'm sitting behind the wheel of a 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle SS Custom that is known as the Sickness. This vehicle is packing a brand new Chevrolet LT4 supercharged V8 pushing 650 horsepower backed with 650 foot-pounds of torque. It's coupled to a brand new redesigned Tremec TKX five-speed transmission, and this body sits on an Art Morrison chassis. You gotta check this out. To start off this uh, video here, this is a non-rehearsed video. There's gonna be a lot of information that I promise I will forget during this presentation, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description. If you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. We are very proud to say we are the only classic car dealership in the country who services everything that we sell. We document the work with an invoice. When the vehicles are finished in the service process, we bring them into our detail room. We spend countless hours detailing their vehicles from top to bottom, presenting what you see here today. So please do your homework on MS Classic Cars. What I would like to say about this particular vehicle here, uh, I can kind of sum up in a paragraph and then I'll get more into the presentation. This is directly off of my website. Again, short and simple, known as the sickness. This 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle supercharged LT4 650 horsepower five-speed custom is the ultimate G machine. G machine meaning pro touring. This is an absolute monster of a car. The magnificent body was refinished in gorgeous jet black and sits on an Art Morrison chassis. It's loaded with tons of modern amenities. As the VIN number indicates, this car was built in Fremont, California as a 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle SS 396 two-door sport coupe. It was built by OCD Customs and revealed at SEMA in 2013. You can go on the internet, you can Google the sickness, you will see the video from SEMA when this was revealed by OCD Customs. Uh, it was a spectacular car at that time. MS Classic Cars purchased this vehicle in 2021. It was August. Uh, MS Classic Cars decided when we got the vehicle to take it to a higher level in every aspect. MS Classic Cars did a frame off build, which was completed in September of 2022. Since completion, it's only been driven a total of 100 test miles and is ready for the new owner to enjoy. It's time to meet the sickness. So that kind of gives you a little bit of an overview. So let me back up a little bit um, on the car. So I found this car. It was not actually being advertised for sale. 
uh, by a friend of mine uh, who actually owned this car at one particular point in time. And he ran it and raved about how spectacular it was. He heard that it was gonna be available for sale. The guy who bought it just didn't drive it. So of course, I jumped on the opportunity uh, from his recommendation. We, again, we've done business in the past. I've seen some of the cars that he's owned. So of course, uh, I was more than happy to buy the car and I paid a premium for it. Once the car arrived here uh, at the dealership, I have to say, I was extremely impressed. And when I say extremely impressed, I'm talking about over the top impressed with how beautiful the body was and how beautiful the paint was. This car has a very stealth look. Uh, sometimes with cars, you just can't put in words the way that they appear, but you will see again, photos of this car on the internet. They did some professional photo shoots here and there. Uh, different sets of wheels were added at different times and the car just has an amazing look. But, uh, there is a but. Um, like a lot of these restorations, uh, car builders uh, sometimes build these cars. They build them under time pressure and uh, they build them with great components, but they're not always uh, built where they can actually be enjoyed. Uh, a lot of shakedown work needs to be done and so forth. So we made a decision uh, at MS Classic Cars to do something that we really haven't done in a long time, and that was to use our experience and our knowledge to re-restore this car. And uh, we did it on and off in the service department for about a year, uh, spent a lot of time, a lot of money, and we made what we believe uh, to be one of the best 67 Chevelles on the planet. I cannot emphasize enough that this is not only a beautiful car, but it is a functional car. That is the word I was looking for a few minutes ago when I was talking about car builders, is building a beautiful car is one thing, and building a functional car is another. And I think there's a lot of people out there that understand exactly what I'm saying, so take it from me, that's exactly what we did to this car. So, let's first just talk about uh, the exterior of the vehicle. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of make my way into the interior, talk about the engine compartment, and then finish with the undercarriage. Again, I might reference some of my notes uh, during this presentation. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, we do have an invoice that you can see in our photo gallery that clearly documents all of the work that we did to this car, parts, labor, et cetera. And I will tell you, uh, we were being very generous uh, with these numbers, meaning there was countless hours spent on this car that are not documented here. Uh, chasing down parts, uh, time that it took to configure everything with this LT4, all the modifications that had to be done. There's a lot of things that we had to do to the, the engine bay itself. Uh, again, things that were not necessarily accounted for here. And we have totaled uh, $77,308.21 just in what you see that we documented. So I would say uh, there's no doubt if I really accounted for every single thing that we did to this car that we easily invested 100K in this car over the time it was in our service department. So uh, again, the reason I did it was because the look of the car, the quality of the body, uh, just I, I had to go I had to go above and beyond and take it to the next level and that's what we did. So let's talk about the outside. So when we look at the outside of this car, you clearly will see in all of the pictures you'll see in this video here, this car has a look. It has that look that everybody is dying for. Black cars are very tricky. You'll notice at MS Classic Cars that I don't typically buy a lot of black cars, especially bigger cars, because a lot of the times the paint just isn't at the level of quality that I look for. The bodies are wavy, they're not straight, and they're very difficult to take care of. So for me to say that this car is spectacular, body and paint says a lot. So when you look down the sides of it, I would say it is extremely, extremely straight. All of the gap lines are absolutely beautiful throughout. Um, the car was outfitted with a cowl style hood. That hood kind of makes the car look like it's moving when it's standing still. Spectacular hood. Uh, what they did is they actually flush mounted the windshield here. I think they did a really nice job. So this is all flush mounted. They shaved the drip rails uh, on the side here, which give it a very, very smooth look. Again, the whole goal with this restoration when they were building it was to give it a 
smooth appearance, which I think they absolutely accomplished. They shaved the door handles on the car, so you'll see there's no door handles. And in the back where the trunk lock would be, all of the emblems, everything again was shaved and made very, very smooth. When we talk about um, the paint on the car, the paint was done to a very, very high level. So again, this is a show quality paint job. It is absolutely in beautiful condition and it's ocean deep. So again, I cannot emphasize how beautiful the paint looks. Starting with all the glass in the car, all of the glass um, was actually replaced brand new. It is kind of a tinted glass, so the glass is in beautiful condition. You might see a tiny little spot here or there uh, just from the short time that the car has been used, but again, the glass is in absolutely beautiful condition and it is slightly tinted. I like the fact that they left, uh, rather than kind of blacking out everything, they actually left the vent window trim here, the window trim uh, and the trim that's on the back window as well, which I thought was the perfect amount of trim. When we look at the front grille, this is where it gets really interesting. Not only do you have your four modern style headlights that do have daytime running lights built into them, which looks absolutely sick, hence the sickness when you're driving down the road with those LEDs and those daytime running lights. But what they did is they used a grill off of a 1956 Chevrolet. They fabricated everything to fit to give it a very unique look. Then what they did is they tucked the front bumpers really close to the vehicle, painted them black so they're nice and tight. The front bumper actually has a nice uh, vent for cooling purposes, gives it again kind of that stealth look. They incorporated a piece of the grill into the lower vent, and then of course incorporated turn signals down below. So it has a very unique looking front end, but they didn't take away from the original 1967 Chevelle look. I think they killed it. They also, in the back of the car where you see the rear taillights, they actually uh, made them smaller so they're a little bit tighter in the back. Again, use the same material around the taillights, the bezels that match the front grille, and they did the same thing to the rear bumper. They actually painted it, tucked it in nice and tight to give it that ultimate smooth appearance. At MS Classic Cars, uh, when we were giving the car our final touches with little things that we did here and there, we added these mirrors. Uh, these are really trick mirrors. Uh, they have these little silver uh, Allen heads here that just give it that uh, extra touch, but we did add mirrors to both sides. It did not have mirrors. I felt like when we were driving the car, this was something that we did actually when the car was finished. I kept trying to look for rear view mirrors, thought it was awkward. Uh, so we used the mirrors uh, that we have on the car today. We installed those again here at the dealership. Uh, it came out absolutely amazing. When we talk about the wheels that are on the car, uh, these are some of my favorite wheels personally. I think they fit the car like a glove. It has uh, Budnick, which we're a huge fan of Budnick. I'm friendly with the owners of the company. They're called Gasser Ds. These are kind of a polished uh, wheel, multi-spokes and stuff. Again, they fit the car like a glove. 18 inch wheels in the front, 20 inch wheels in the back. The wheels are actually wrapped uh, with a really good tire. I'm gonna give you the specifications on the tires. Uh, they are 245 4018s in the front and 275 4020s in the rear. Once again, it looks absolutely amazing. you got to check out the beautiful photography work that Corey did. We spend a lot of time with our photography taking different angles, uh, lights on, lights off, kind of just show you how spectacular the car looks rather than taking you know, your typical 10 or 15 or 20 photos that are kind of standstills. He does all these real cool things to show you how spectacular it is. Can't say enough about it. Now, Let's make our way into the interior where things get equally as exciting. Again, you heard me earlier say that we shaved the door handles. So what this car has is it has a keyless remote system, which actually is right here. Uh, it has this transmitter. It says one, two, three, four, and we do have door poppers. So you hit the button, the doors pop. Uh, I'm 99.9% .9 sure the poppers are actually Ring Brothers poppers, which is a well-known name in the custom uh, world of classic cars and so forth. Uh, they make really good door poppers, so we installed those at MS Classic Cars in here because we weren't really satisfied uh, with the ones that it had. So again, keyless remote entry. Uh, also, the trunk. The trunk opens with this remote as well. 
Now, getting into the interior, I wanna give a shout out to the company who did the interior. I always like to do that because at the end of the day, the real talent uh, and the builders and everything, they deserve it. Um, so again, OCD Customs for designing the car. And then the Van Hooten upholstery, which also was out of Washington. Uh, they're the ones who did this interior. I think they did a great job. So let's start with the simplicity. Um, a lot of times the goal with a build is you really can ruin the exterior of a car by doing something wrong to the interior. What I mean by that is if you had chosen maybe a different color or maybe a different pattern or some type of a different design in here, it really could have ruined that smooth, slick look of the exterior. So again, they made it very simple, but very uh, complimentary of the exterior. So looking at this headliner, this is the leather material that they used on the headliner. It's super tight, wrinkle-free, fits like a glove. They did delete the sun visors uh, to give you a little bit more visibility here. Uh, again, the windshield is tinted. I think that was actually a pretty cool idea. Again, make it look simple and clean. Brand new rear view mirror. This entire dash on this car was handmade. It was fabricated. It's all metal. It's in beautiful condition. And then they wrapped it uh, with leather. It's got stitching. It looks absolutely beautiful. It even kind of falls underneath a little bit on the bottom. Uh, I think they did a great job with the dash. We uh, at MS Classic Cars, when we were doing our build to the car, we actually replaced all the gauges. They're brand new gauges that are made by Speed Hut. And again, it includes the fuel voltage, uh, speedometer, tachometer, oil, and temperature. Um, again, it's equipped with a uh, I did it tilt steering column with this really nice billet lever. So I'm six foot, 200 pounds. You can see how much headroom I have, how much arm room I have. I have tons of leg room. And for somebody who's smaller, you can bring down the wheel. Somebody who's bigger, you can actually fold it up here. So it really, really is a nice uh, tilt steering. It also has a Budnick uh, steering wheel here. This is a 15 inch steering wheel, polished just like the exterior wheels are. They refer to this uh, wheel as the knife. It's a gorgeous wheel. Again, it matches perfectly to the outside. The black leather wrap matches the black upholstery. I think it was a perfect choice. Um, Why we're on the subject of uh, this area here, I would also like to say they did a great job with the vents in this vehicle. Um, when we redid the car, uh, part of the process was it really never had air conditioning installed. Uh, I was told that it was plumbed for AC. Wasn't really the case. Uh, so we started from scratch, brand new air conditioning system. We installed it at MS Classic Cars. We did tons of new wiring, re-plumbed everything. Again, this was a bare shell essentially when we had it in our service department. We took everything out of the car. Again, we wanted to improve upon what was uh, done to the car, but take it to the highest level and do great work and, and show off our, our trade and so forth. So we did all of that. So it's got ice cold air conditioning. It's all vintage air. It really, really works great. And it does have a full console. Very important that you know that it starts from the beginning where the knobs are for the AC. It goes all the way to the back uh, where the passengers sit in the back of the car. Uh, right front here uh, on the console, you have all four power window switches. So yes, power doors, power windows. It has both tilt steering wheel, air conditioning. What else could you ask for? Uh, this console was completely wrapped in the same leather material that the dash was. It even has a spot for a cell phone holder. And then of course, the highlight of this console is this beautiful Hurst shifter that kind of matches the steering wheel, it matches the hood hinges and so forth. It even kind of matches the exterior mirrors. Very well thought out by the guys in service. They really killed it. Of course, we had to use a black shift knob to complement the rest of the car. When we start talking about the door panels, again, these are unique custom door panels. They've been wrapped in the same type of leather material. They do have these little um, silver accents that you can find on the door. You can find them also on the seats. They did a great job with that. Um, it does have a custom uh, door handle. It's got really nice uh, armrests here. You will notice when you open the doors, you'll see in our photos, 
that even the door sills, which I've never seen done before, they wrapped them in the same leather material because door sills normally get scuffed up. A lot of people know what I'm talking about. Getting in, getting out, they become messy quick. These are actually wrapped in leather to avoid that. I think they looked really, really nice. And then they complemented them with an uh, SS emblem. It just looks really sweet. Uh, talking about these bucket seats, these seats are out of a 2007 Ford uh, 500. They're just a really nice uh, seat. They do recline, they do move back and forth and so forth. Um, and they're again, wrapped in that beautiful leather material. Uh, they're equipped with seat belts in the front here. Again, it has the matching rear seat, again, with the chrome accents I mentioned before. So it's got a really nice big back seat, very comfortable, very comfortable bucket seats. Uh, to finish it off, they used plush carpeting. And then at MS Classic Cars, we added brand new custom floor mats that say Chevelle. Of course, they're in white. And again, we tried to kind of match everything accordingly. So that white Chevelle matches the white on the shift knob and so forth. When we look at the trunk compartment, the trunk compartment is a spitting image of the interior. Uh, what they did is they boxed the entire trunk compartment, similar to what you would see in here. They uh, took all of the leather material, they wrapped everything beautifully. And then what they did is there's a fuel cell in the back, along with the Red Top uh, Optima battery, which is a great well-known battery. Um, and rather than leaving the fuel tank, you know, raw and so forth and leaving the battery tray and the battery raw, they wrapped the fuel cell and the battery with the same matching leather. They even, uh, they even wrapped the latch assembly in the back as well. So you'll see in the photos how beautiful of a job they did with all the upholstery. And then to put the icing on the cake, they used the same carpet that they use in the interior. So it actually flows beautifully uh, into the back of the car. And there's a lot of space back there. So if you're going to a car show, you can still put your chairs and show board and all that stuff in the back. Definitely a, a great job. Very complimentary of this entire interior. Now, this is where the fun begins. We look at this engine bay. Uh, this engine bay, um, we just listed this car just a very short time ago, a couple days ago. Uh, did a bunch of sneak peeks and so forth. And we already on social media have had like 20,000 views, I think just on Facebook alone, of all the people that are just uh, enamored by this car and everybody just loves this engine compartment. So we at MS Classic Cars had to do a ton of work to the engine compartment to fit this engine. As I said earlier, I don't wanna say anybody, but a lot of people out there that have some experience in this business, you can put things in cars. You know, you can put steering wheels on cars and you can put engines in cars and exhaust systems and brakes and everything else, but it doesn't mean that it's functionable. A lot of times nothing fits the way that it should. It doesn't work the way it does. It should. It vibrates, it shakes, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So what we wanted to do at MS Classic Cars is we wanted to test fit everything. So you will clearly see in all of our photos that we had a rolling chassis. I included a picture of the rolling chassis in our service department. We brought the rolling chassis over to the dealership, thought this would be a great idea. We wanted to show everybody the entire chassis, the amount of work that went into it, the geometry of it, measuring everything, making sure everything fit, even the exhaust system. I had to send out and spend thousands of dollars to make sure everything was fabricated properly. And then of course we put the body back on the chassis. Well, part of that, was redoing the engine compartment. So the firewall, uh, the inner fenders, all of this has been fabricated. And then of course, the heart of this car is that magnificent GM supercharged LT4 engine. If you get on the internet, do your homework. We did post a look, a photo that I pulled off the internet with all the specifications of this engine. This is a new car engine, okay, Corvette. It's, it's amazing. Uh, it's just a perfect engine for somebody that wants power and they want reliability. This is it right here. Uh, we selected this engine. It was our number one choice, very expensive. When it's all said and done, when you start adding everything to the engine, it's well over 20 grand, but it was worth its weight in gold. Now, 
Once the engine was done, then we had to fabricate everything, okay, around the engine. So what I'd like to do quickly here, and we are getting to the end, I apologize if this can be a little boring and, and I'm dragging on and so forth, but it's important for people who are interested in buying this car, they're investing a lot of money, and I just wanna make sure that they're very clear on how special this car is. So uh, here's a couple of things I'd like to mention. Um, the engine was dressed with a complete C uh, VF serpentine pulley system, which is mostly black and looks amazing. A Nuke performance clutch uh, can universal breather with braided lines was mounted to the firewall, which it, I thought was a great idea. The guys did in service. It just looks very, very professional. Um, a custom made front panel was fabricated to cover the radiator and air cleaner. So let me uh, give a big shout out to Paul Machado. Paul's the mechanic that did a lot of work on this car that works from S Classic Cars. He literally fabricated that entire front panel by hand, scratch by hand, uh, started with a piece of cardboard and figured it all out. So we took pictures of this car in our photo gallery with the panel off, showing you what everything looks like. And then with the panel on, I think he absolutely nailed it. And he even came up with the idea on this side of the uh, engine bay to have a clear cover so you could see the air filter, which I think just adds a little bit more uh, character. So again, I can't say enough about that. Um, the engine is actually cooled by a new, again, everything is brand new, Griffith um, aluminum radiator. It has a black billet cap. It's got an overfill canister, which is underneath the panel. It's got a be cooled polished dual uh, electric fans uh, system with heat trunk hose clamps. You won't see any the messiness under here, any wires under here. Again, we did the entire job at MS Classic Cars. The engine breathes through a new custom made. Now again, this is custom made to fit this car. tri y headers with a fully functional three inch exhaust system with MagnaFlow mufflers and Ace Race exhaust clamps. As I mentioned, we had all that professionally made and fabricated. It was super expensive, three, $4,000 to do the whole thing. It was, it was big bucks, but it was worth its weight in gold again. The engine is coupled not just to a Tremec five-speed. This is the new redesigned TKX uh, transmission, which is absolutely amazing. Again, you can get on the internet, Google it. Uh, it's just an awesome transmission with overdrive and so forth. Um, it's equipped with a new SFI QuickTime blow shield, and it has a McCloyd RXT Street twin disc hydraulic clutch. So even though it does have a high performance clutch, which was again, very expensive, but we wanted to cut no corners, you can use this clutch very easily. This is not a heavy clutch. I just wanna make sure I'm clear on that. Um, it also has a Willwood billet clutch reservoir the massive power plant is transferred to the Ford 9 inch True Track rear end with 31 spline axles. Uh, it's got 350 Mosier gears, strange aluminum center, and billet pinion flange. Anybody who knows rear ends and drive shafts and everything understands the, the, the quality of those parts. It's even equipped with a custom aluminum drive shaft with billet front and rear yoke. Again, we did the engine, we did uh, the exhaust, we did the radiator, we did the wiring, we did uh, the transmission, we did the rear end, we did everything at MS Classic Cars. It is essentially now a brand new build. Now, last but not least is the undercarriage. The undercarriage is highly detailed. Obviously, there's tons of new parts throughout. This undercarriage absolutely can be displayed at a car show with lights and mirrors. It is that nice underneath. Of course, uh, the body was refinished in the color black. It's kind of a satin black underneath and it looks beautiful. And once again, the body sits on an Art Morrison chassis. If you don't know Art Morrison, it's one of the biggest names in chassis. They do an amazing job. It changes the entire characteristics of the car. Again, it's got a, a beautiful chassis. We redid the chassis as far as cleaning it, painting parts and so forth, making it look spectacular. And again, we had the rolling chassis in our showroom, which you can see all the photos of. Um, it's equipped with a C5 Corvette uh, power rack and pinion power steering system 
with a Billet Specialties black power steering reservoir. You can see that right in the engine. The front suspension system consists of a custom upper and lower control arms and strange coilovers. The rear suspension consists of a triangulated four-link setup with strange adjustable coilovers as well. The Willwood braking system consists of the master cylinder. It has 13-inch uh, brakes in the front with six-piston black calipers. There are two-piece drilled and slotted rotors. And then in the rear, it's 12-inch uh, with four-piston uh, calipers. They're black as well. Again, drilled and slotted rotors. It also is equipped with an e-stop electric uh, brake system. Uh, that really is an awesome system. I will make a note that the entire system is installed. We're waiting for one part on that. We're expecting it in the next week or two. So by the time this car sells, we should have that part and then we can install it for the new owner. But that concludes my entire presentation. Once again, this essentially is a brand new build. It only has 100 miles on it. Even before we, when we got the car, the entire car only had like 500 miles on it. It was really, really low mileage to begin with. Um, but now that we've done everything that we've done to this car, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we invested roughly $100,000 in this car. If you really figured everything out from start to finish, it is an absolutely amazing looking car, driving car. It's got all the amenities that anybody could want. And the new owner is going to be absolutely floored with this car. So that ends the conclusion. I am going to go ahead and start it. Let you listen how beautiful it runs. Before I do that, I would ask if you had not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do so. We have thousands of people that subscribe to that. It's the best way to stay in contact with MS Classic Cars. We are also on all the social media platforms. We are big on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, YouTube, and all that kind of stuff. So please make sure to subscribe, like us, and so forth. We really appreciate it. And I will end by saying that MS Classic Cars is not a high volume dealership, but we are doing great things. We spend a lot of time with the details. Thanks again for watching. I'm going to go ahead and start this baby, let you listen how beautiful she runs. Oof, she's mean. Thanks again for watching. Rock and roll.